Hi, we're Nikki and Billy, and this is our new van. It's basically our retirement plan van. So later this year, we'll be leaving work and travelling south for winter, hopefully as far as Africa. But until then, we'll be travelling around, doing different weekends. And if you want to come along, hit subscribe. It's free. And hopefully we'll catch you on the road. Bye. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so, weekend at home this weekend as uh, Billy's son Jay came to stay. Um, so, yeah, just a, a chilling weekend at home, getting a few jobs done. Yeah. Um, and then hopefully we'll get away again. Maybe not this weekend, but hopefully the weekend after. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so really we were just going to talk about, well, what are we, are we going to talk about the awning to start so, with? Yeah, so we've ordered one. Well, I've ordered one. Yeah. Um, and if I'm talking a bit funny, it's because I've had, to, I've had, I've been to the dentist and I've had a tooth out. So yeah, I was a little bit put off and didn't really want to get another awning. Not, yeah. One, because they're expensive, and two, when I realised how much damage it could have done, it did actually put me off. And I thought, mm, I'm not right keen, you know, I'd rather do without. Even though I've always, we've had an awning, and we've used an awning for the past three years without a single issue. Um, just the fact that something could happen quite freaky like that did put me off. But um, Billy's been in cahoots with his mum. And uh, he's ordered a new one, so yeah. I mean, it will look good. It'll look, it'll, you know, smarten it back up and look really nice. And I yeah. think we're going to be very, very, very careful when we use it. So I'm not taking what's on off. I'll let them do that, so I don't do any more damage. So yeah. we're not sure if the the fixtures and fittings work or not. They sent some photographs to them, and they think it might be all right. So fingers so crossed we'll that will save us some money. It might save us two hundred quid. And. So that's the awning. Isn't it? Someone's recommended I go through the insurance as well, which yeah. I wasn't really sure about. So if anyone else has has uh, claimed, claimed for something awning. similar, will you let us know, please? Yeah, is it worth trying? We're gonna have to try anyway. Yeah, we? it's worth trying, isn't it? But yeah. did anybody have success? Yeah. So yeah. I didn't think it would be. So I thought, you know, it's probably not worth it. But yeah, then maybe we'll give it a go. Yeah. So what else can we talk about? What we've done to the van? Well, we bought the lovely dry robe seat covers to um, obviously protect the upholstery because if we're in and out we're going to spend a lot of time in it wet mucky dirty we don't want to wreck it yeah. so I'm also thinking about getting the double one for the double seats as well and it just helps look after it just helps you know keep it looking good and obviously you know that's what we want to do so, so TNT Adventures in Jersey have got 68, haven't they? Yeah, they've and got we it. saw they had these and they've got the double one on, so yeah. that's where the idea come from. We spotted it on like, uh, ooh, one of their uh, videos, yeah, yeah, so. And they're not expensive either, I yeah, think I they were what? Be, they're cheaper than a dry robe. Yeah, they're about 40. They're quite expensive for a dry robe, aren't they? 40-something quid each, yeah. which I thought for really good chair covers that looked decent. Um, I don't think that was bad at all, to be honest. And when so, we're away in the heat, it'll stop yeah. all that fake leather trim heating up and burning yeah. your legs when we're in shorts and stuff. Because it'll get a bit warm. And these uh, keep you warm in winter and cool in summer, apparently. And so, obviously they'll come off and wash, which is absolutely yeah, perfect. Them. Protect the fabric, come off and wash. Keep so, the resale value yeah, which when is, we get tired of travelling. Yeah, well, that's not going to be for a long time. But obviously you want to look after vans because you know you want to sell them again at some point yeah definitely a great investment yeah um so yeah so hence obviously it's been very 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 expensive couple of months so yeah. you know we've got to sort of wind it back a bit haven't we if, when we do our next trip out in the van it's probably going to be pure wild parking avoiding pubs for one weekend don't be too disappointed billy i think we're just gonna have one full weekend really sort of out you know, just out with nature and, yeah. But fill the fridge up then, and Yeah, I? fill and the, the fridge garage up, yeah. And put the whiskey in the garage and stuff, so. Well, we did our first four days off-grid, but not. We were... At pubs. Yeah, we were at pubs, but obviously using all our own services. Then we had four, we had three fab nights at, at Wreath, and, of course, we've got all the campsite luxuries and hook-up. Yeah. Um, so this time, I think we're going to go for proper, yeah. proper wild park-up. But, um... I believe before then, Billy may have a little treat for you. He's such a show-off, but I hope you so enjoyed it. I am available if uh, you want country and <laughs> western and you're marrying one of your cousins or something like the trader trash in America. I can do that for you. <laughs> so, yeah, the only other thing we've added to the van, 
Nikki can show you now, which is a mattress topper. So we'll do that next, yeah? So, one more thing we've added. So the mattress is actually quite good and quite thick, um, but we treat ourselves to a Panda bamboo mattress topper, which is like that thick. And boy, is it comfy. Um, it's absolutely just a great buy. We've always managed with like um, a 35 quid mattress topper from like Home Bargains. And we've slept on that in our other van for three years, no problems at all whatsoever, without a proper mattress, because obviously our old van, we made up the bed off the sofa. But uh, with this one, we've treated ourselves to a lovely bamboo mattress topper and it's worth every penny. Night's absolute luxury. What we did with our old topper is, because obviously the garage is like an empty metal box, we've put the old topper underneath the lats so it'll protect the well it'll protect the mattress from underneath and it'll protect you know it'll give us a little bit more insulation from from underneath in uh, cold weather but i have to say this van seems really really well insulated and it seems really really warm so you know comfy nights for us well before we give you an update on the van and what we're doing do you remember this again there seems to be a theme this week it's uh, calamities and whiskies. I'm blaming Sharon and Ian. There's a song. There's a it's song. Sharon and Ian's fault. Yeah, there's a song there, and I'm going to write a country western song called Calamities and Whiskey. Mm. I'll have my calamities and whiskey. Mm. Well, turns out we kind of made a song. Well, it must have been the end of March. Came down from the range, I was feeling parched. Out on the saddle up on Parkside Ridge We camp at a one horse town called Reed Got a little taste of whiskey on my teeth Should have been north of the Great Grant County Bridge That's when it decided to break my heart Without a word it did depart I was getting a cold one from the fridge All together now calamities and whiskey Bet my canopy don't miss me We were away on that fateful day Just as the wind got frisky Oh calamities and whiskey Bet my canopy So that was just a quick catch up. If you want to see how we get on with getting the new awning back on, hit subscribe. If you've enjoyed anything we've got in the video, give us a thumbs up, even if it's the rubbish singing. And uh, hit notify so you find out when we do our next things. Talking of next things, we're going to Van Life Fest for definite. And then we'll be in Benidorm for Christmas. Catch you later. Cheers.